Scale Pro. Casting numbers. What you can do with a casting number. Um, so to the right here, we have a picture of a lever with a casting number on it. 87380. Okay, so what does this casting number uh, mean to us? Um, so to the left here, we have a service manual for a Fairbanks Type S motor truck scale. We're going to hit the search tab, or we can just do Control F to bring up the find. Um, let's type in 87380. The casting number of this random lever um, we have on the right hand side. Um, so, um, you can see 87380 right here. So, casting number. Um, so, we know this lever is a main lever um let's say we needed um uh, let's say a technician sent up this picture and says hey we need a uh, uh a fulcrum pivot or a fulcrum bearing or a, a tip pivot tip bearing so on and so forth um we can just by knowing the casting number we can find um okay this is the part number for the fulcrum pivot tip pivot um if we look above um we have the fulcrum pivot load pivot, tip pivot, along with bearings, saddles, links, uh, chairs, stands, hangers, so on and so forth. So basically, we can find anything uh, from this casting number uh, relative to this section in the manual. Um, so let's say, um, uh, let's take this one step, one step up. Um, let's say we have a casting number, and we know the scale. We measured it. It's a... 70 by 10. Um, so if we have a scale of this casting number and it's a 70 by 10, we can then uh, deduct that, okay, we have a product number 90959. So this product number will give us a lot of other information on everything else. Now if we look above here, horizontal dash indicates same part is used as on the model to the left. Um, so basically right here, this section is where our casting number and our the size of our weight bridge come together. Um, so we have a 90959. We're going to copy that. We're going to go back to our search bar. We're going to paste that in. We're going to see what else we can um, figure out from this product number that we got from our casting number and measuring the weight bridge. Um, so here we have end extension lever. Um, we have two different types of extension levers for a 909-59. They're both 70 by 10s, uh, but two different part numbers. So um, that would require getting the casting number off the extension lever um, in order to determine what exactly the part number for the end extension lever is. But we still have the ability to figure out the fulcrum pivot load pivot, tip pivot, fulcrum bearing, everything else we would need um, for that except to be made down here. Um, so the pivots and the extension lever. So here's the end extension lever. So again, um, uh, tip pivots, nose iron, uh, fulcrum pivots, fulcrum bearings, uh, load pivots, um, all that stuff we can figure out. So let's um, let's keep searching for 90959. Um, center extension lever with small nose irons. Um, so in a 90959, um, we have the center extension lever part number. So um, 60460 would be the part number for each center extension lever. And we can get all this other glorious information um, just by knowing our product number that we got from our casting number. And let's keep searching. Um, again, another one, center extension lever with nose iron. Let's highlight this. Um, next, we have even lever again, um, our even lever. Um, information. Uh, 
um, here, transverse lever. Um, so we can depict, okay, what the part number and casting number is off of our transverse lever, along with pivots and bearing. Let's keep searching here. Okay, so, um, hey, look, by knowing the uh, product number, we can determine the model number, the capacity, um, platform size, the number of sections, and the um, CLC along with the deck construction. So we can determine all this, um, again, just by knowing the size of the way bridge and one single casting number. Let's see what else we can find. Um, again, okay, so 90959. This is a five section scale. Let's highlight that. Um, Okay, so now let's figure out, okay, we have all this glorious information on just by knowing a single casting number and the size of the way bridge. What kind of load cell do we use for this scale? Let's do a search for load cell. So, section 1.7. Explains, okay, we have all five section scales, which we have by knowing we have a 90959, all five, and determined it was a five section scale. So um, all five section scales require a 5,000 pound capacity load cell. Um, so yeah, so we know that uh, this scale, um, everything about this scale, and also it needs a 5,000 pound capacity load cell. So if we have, the load cell and its information is scribbled out or faded, we can determine that, okay, it's a 5,000 pound capacity load cell by knowing the casting number, the size of the deck, we can reference that to a product number, um, and then we can reference the product number to the number of sections that that product number has. And down here we can see that, okay, it's a five section, all five sections requires uh, 5,000 pound capacity load cell. Uh, this is handy for four section scales as well because in a four section scale we can um, let's see we're split up here we have three thousand pounds for all these product numbers and then we have five thousand pounds for all of these so we can actually determine what type of load cell it is uh, that we need to use by uh, knowing the product number so this is handy if you're converting um, a fully mechanical scale with a wavy mod to a digital scale. So. Scale Pro. Casting numbers.